hello guys welcome back to another med in a minute in today's video i'll be looking on diarrhea so you may be going to the bathroom very often and you're wondering is this diarrhea is this not all right so what is diarrhea diarrhea is classified as having more than three water stools per day all right it can be more than 200 grams of stools per day However, I really don't think anybody measures their stool at home. So we're going to work with greater than three water stools per day. And it can be acute or chronic. Acute meaning it's lasting less than two weeks. Chronic means it's lasting more than 30 days. So what we're seeing here is the Bristol stool chart. And based on the appearance of your stool, you can classify someone as being constipated, which is type 1 and type 2, normal, type 3 and type 4 stool, and then diarrhea being type 6 and type 7 where it gets more soft and liquid. Now, what are the causes of diarrhea? It can be infectious causes, so your bacteria such as a Campylobacter, your E. coli, your Shigella, or your viruses such as your Narwhal virus or your rotaviruses. These kind of diarrhea are usually acute, right, and last in less than two weeks. There is also bloody diarrhea, also known as dysentery, and it is also caused by Campylobacter, Salmonella, Shigella, and sometimes E. coli. Now, there are also non-infectious causes of diarrhea, and these include colon cancer, IBD, such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, and also lactose intolerance. There are also drugs that can cause diarrhea. These include antibiotics, such as penicillin. So if you're on antibiotics, you may have diarrhea or you're on NSAIDs such as aspirin or ibuprofen or you're on drugs for acid reflux such as the omeprazole or pantoprazole. So diarrhea may present with some associated symptoms such as abdominal pain and cramping, fever and chills or nausea and bloating or vomiting. All right, so look out for these associated symptoms. So the treatment of diarrhea is really dependent on what is causing the diarrhea. This is very important. So if you have diarrhea greater than two weeks, heading to 30 days, it may be a more chronic type of diarrhea, which could be IBD or colon cancer. So you need to speak with your physician as soon as possible. Now, other diarrhea, acute diarrhea less than two weeks, the treatment is usually to treat the symptom and it usually resolves before two weeks. So it's important when you have diarrhea, you're losing a lot of fluid, so you need to rehydrate yourself. So there are signs of dehydration you're supposed to look for, and I have that in my dehydration video. So severe dehydration where there's tinting on the skin, there's increasing pulse, your eyes become sunken, and your urine output decreases so you're not passing a lot of urine this could be a sign of severe dehydration and will benefit from iv fluids or intravenous fluids and you need to see your doctor for that dieting is also important it is said that banana white rice and toast can actually help with diarrhea and it is recommended that you start on a low fiber diet at first and gradually increase your fiber intake as you go along you can also treat associated symptoms. So if you're having fever, Panadol, if you're having abdominal pain, painkillers maybe, and if you're having vomiting, your doctor may prescribe gravel. All right, so that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.